In this video, I'm going to show you how to take this cube, model it, texture it, and use it in Unreal Engine 5. Let's get started. Select the cube, scale it down. Press the period key on the numpad to focus in. Go to Object, Apply and Scale. Press Tab to go into Edit Mode. Press 3 for Face Select. Select the face and hit E to extrude. Then extrude that face out. Hit 1 to go into Vertice Mode. Select X-Ray Mode and select all the top vertices. Hit S to scale and Y to lock it to the Y axis. Drag it in a little. Hit G then Z and move the vertices down a little. Turn off X-Ray Mode and hit 3 to go back into Face Mode. Select the face. Then hit I for inset, then inset it somewhat. Press E and extrude it in a little bit. Now do the same on the other side. Select the bottom face and extrude it down. Select the adjacent face and extrude that out a little bit. Then hit G and Z to drag it down on the Z axis. This is going to make the hilt of our gun. Select the opposite face and extrude that out. This is going to be the barrel of our gun. Select these two bottom faces, then extrude these down. Press 2 for edge select. Select this edge, G, then Z to move it up somewhat. Press Ctrl B for bevel. Use the mouse wheel to increase the edges. Using the same method, bevel this edge as well. Also do the same to the underside of the gun barrel. Also bevel the top right portion of the gun. Hit 3 for face select, then select the front facing portion of the barrel. Hit I for inset and insert it. Hit E and extrude it in a bit. Hit Tab to go back to Object Mode, then press Shift A to add a mesh and a cube. Scale the cube down. Using G, move the cube down to a spot where you would hold the gun. Hit Tab to go to Edit Mode to edit the cube. Now, using the bevel functions we used before, refine the edges of this cube. Select Tab to go back to Object Mode. Make any final adjustments of the placement. Select the gun. Now hit the little spanner icon and go to modifiers. Add a boolean modifier, then using the eyedropper select the cube. This boolean method will make a hole in our gun. Now apply the modifier on the gun. Now you can delete the cube as this has made a hole in our gun. Now we can go onto the textures. Make sure you're in edit mode, then make sure you're also using the face select mode. Press A to select all the faces. Right click on the object, go to UV unwrap faces and smart UV project. Change the island mapping to 0 0.03. Click OK. Select the texture paint tab. Zoom in on the left and right screens. Click this plus button to create a new texture, then click on base color. Choose the main color of your gun. I'm going to use a darkish gray. Click OK. Use F to resize your brush. Then choose a color on the bottom right of the screen. Then you can start painting on your asset. Click on the material base color. With the brush tool still selected, you can now start painting. I'm just painting random stuff here to illustrate what it would look like on the UV projection. You, however, can make this whatever you want. If you want to just edit a single face, you can use the mask tool. Select the mask button, then the select button. Select the face you want to edit, then select the brush tool again and choose a color. Colour in the single face without editing anything else. Once you're done, deselect the mask tool. Now we're ready to export. Select image, save as, and save it to a folder and give it a name. To export the model, go to file, export, then FBX. Then give it a name and save it as is. Open up the Epix Game Launcher and launch Unreal Engine 5. Click the first person template and give it a name. Then click create. Create a folder for your asset. Then drag and drop the FBX file in first. Click Import All. If you get a warning, you can ignore it and just close it. Then drag in the PNG texture. It should automatically align to your gun. Go to the First Person BP folder, then the Blueprints folder, and open up First Person Character Blueprint. Switch over to the Viewport tab. Delete the current FP gun. Then drag in our static mesh of our gun. Move the Sci-Fi Gun component under the Mesh 2P component, then move the Sphere component under the Sci-Fi Gun component. Select the gun, then under Parent Socket select Grip Point. Using the W and E keys, move the asset into place. You can turn off snapping to increase the precision of your movement. Under the Construction Script tab, 
using Alt left click deselect the construction script flow. Select the sphere and move that in front of the gun. If you're finding it hard to move the sphere, toggle between local and world coordinate system. Compile the blueprint. Press play and you're done. Run around, shoot some blocks and have a good time. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell notification. Until next time guys.